Hi guys, my name is Bjorn and welcome to Gamerish. Today we're going to look at three pedals that promise to capture the essence of David Gilmour's tones from different periods. This is the 18V uh, power driver and the uh, soft drive and last the uh, Gilmour Muff. All of these are made by Australian company DevTech. So uh, we're going to look at them, I'm going to show you some of my favorite tones, so uh, stick around. <laughs> DevTech has a lot of uh, different pedals. Uh, some of them are um, aimed at uh, David Gilmour's tones and the David Gilmour fan, uh, and some some of them are not. Uh, these three pedals uh, has been out for a while, and many of you has been asking for a review. The Power Driver is based on the Color Sound Power Boost, as you can see. Uh, David Gilmour used the power boost on Obscure by Clouds, uh, Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Here mainly as a uh, overdrive uh, pedal, possibly as a boost for his uh, fuzz pedals and big muffs. The power driver uh, runs on 9V uh, but it switches it up to 18V uh, to adding a large bit of uh, headroom. And what I like about the uh, power driver is that it seems to capture the uh, the tone that you get from combining the um, the colors on power boost with a high watt and the high watt has a bit of high uh, mid range which makes it sound smoother and a bit more um, open uh, which this one certainly has that that character uh, it doesn't sound as squashed when you raise the uh, the the gain uh, and I'm sure also the uh, added headroom uh, given that it runs on 18 volt uh, adds to that but uh, this one is really really uh, easy to set up uh, and um, probably one of my favorite uh, color sound power boosts uh, on the market today the soft drive is based on the Pete Cornish uh, SS2 that David Gilmore used in the mid 90s. It's not that different from the uh, the tube driver, but it uh, has a smoother tone, a bit more mid range, and a, a bit of a low end cut. So somewhere between a tube driver and a uh, tube screamer. Um, it, it's you can hear the pedal on uh, Division Bell, and he also used it on the uh, 1994 uh, tour, uh, and um, uh, obviously on the uh, Pulse Live album. Um, this one sounds incredibly smooth. It's been a while since I tried the uh, the, the Cornish pedal, but uh, I really love this one. It's uh, it has. Um, a really nice character. I'm not a huge uh, Tube Screamer fan, but I often think that the Tube Driver lack a bit of mid-range, which this one certainly has, and it sounds just amazing with uh, some single coils and uh, a fairly uh, dry amp. Last is the uh, Gilmore Muff, which uh, obviously, as the name implies, is based on David Gilmore's uh, Big Muff tones. Um, from what I understand, this is based on uh, the schematics of David Gilmour's number one Big Muff, uh, the one that he uh, got in 75, 76, and that is, has been using on some of the tours and most of the albums since then. Um, and from what I can hear, this one sounds incredibly close to the sound you hear on uh, Animals, The Wall, and also his 78th uh, solo album. It has a, um, a slightly throaty or hollow tone. Uh, it's very scooped, but it also has a lot of presence. Uh, and it's incredibly smooth, and the sustain uh, is... Um, right up there with uh, some of the best clones, uh, Big Muff clones on the market today. So I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, a, a bonus, uh, if you like, is the uh, three-way mid-switch, which uh, has a uh, classic mod, which is scooped, as the RAM said, uh, and uh, a flat, and uh, a slightly boosted mid-range. So as usual, I'm going to set up uh, some of my favorite tones, 
um, check out some of the other uh, reviews out there and uh, the DevTech uh, page for more details about these fantastic sounding pedals. I'm not paid to say that. Um, and as always, head on over to gilmorish.com and uh, check out the new content, the new design, and more about David Gilmore's gear on all the albums and all the tours. Okay, I'll see you soon.